Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1806, the original Lower Trenton Bridge between Morrisville, Pennsylvania and Trenton, New Jersey is opened. In 1811, German chemist Robert Bunsen was born. Perhaps you have heard of him. In 1822, the Florida Territory is created in the United States. In 1835, in the first assassination attempt against a president of the United States, Richard Lawrence attempts to shoot Andrew Jackson, but fails and is subdued by the crowd. In 1842, anesthesia is used for the first time in an operation by the American surgeon Dr. Crawford Long in Georgia. In 1853, Dutch painter Vincent van Gogh is born. In 1855, border ruffians from Missouri invade Kansas and force the election of a pro-slavery legislature during the American Civil War. In 1858, today Hyman L. Lipman of Philadelphia received a patent for his invention, without which we would all be dumber. He invented the eraser-topped pencil. In 1865, the Treaty of Paris is signed with Russia losing the Crimean War. In 1867, the United States buys Alaska from Russia for $7.2 million, or over $138 million in 2022 money. Still a heck of a deal. In 1870, Texas becomes the last Confederate state to be readmitted to the Union following U.S. Reconstruction. Also in 1870, the 15th Amendment to the United States Constitution is adopted, guaranteeing the right to vote regardless of race. In 1894, George Bernard Shaw's comedy play Candida premieres at the Theatre Royal in England. In 1895, British inventor Bert Akers, I just love that name, Bert Akers, he films the Oxford and Cambridge boat race. Yep, way back in 1895. In 1909, the Queensboro Bridge opens, connecting Manhattan and Queens. In 1910, the University of Southern Mississippi is founded. In 1912, the Treaty of Fes establishes Morocco as a French protectorate. In 1914, American blues singer and harmonica player Sonny Boy Williamson was born. In 1916, at the Stanley Cup Final, the Montreal Canadiens beat the Portland Rosebuds 2-1 for a 3-2 series victory. In 1918, at the Stanley Cup two years later, the Toronto Arenas beat the Vancouver Millionaires 2-1 for a 3-2 series victory. This was the first series involving the new National Hockey League. In 1919, Mahatma Gandhi announces resistance against the British Rolat Act as it allows detention without trial for a maximum of two years. In 1923, the Zeta Pi Beta sorority that formed at Howard University in 1920 incorporates today. In 1925, at the Stanley Cup Final, the Victoria Cougars beat the Montreal Canadiens 6-1 for a 3-1 series win. It was the last time a non-NHL team won the trophy. In 1942, the German SS murders 200 inmates of the Troniki concentration camp. In 1943, at the 5th NCAA Men's Basketball Championship, Wyoming beats Georgetown 46-34. In 1944, the World War II Allied bombing raid begins on Nuremberg, Germany. Of the 781 planes sent, 95 are lost, making it the largest bomber command loss of the war. In 1945, English singer-songwriter-guitarist Eric Clapton was born today. Also in 1945, 289 anti-fascists are murdered by the Nazis in Rongberg Park, Dortmund. In 1946, Harold Arlen and Johnny Mercer's musical St. Louis Woman, starring a young Pearl Bailey, opens at the Martin Beck Theater in New York City and runs for 113 performances. Also in 1946, at the third Golden Globes, The Lost Weekend, Ray Milland, and Egrid Bergman win. In 1950, Bell Telephone Laboratories announced their invention of the phototransistor. In 1951, tonight, the Minneapolis Symphony Orchestra debuts Walter Piston's Fourth Symphony, which was commissioned to mark the University of Minnesota's centennial. In 1952, at the sixth Tony Awards, the Four Poster and the King and I win. In 1953, Albert Einstein announces his revised unified field theory. 
In 1954, the Yonge Street subway line opens in Toronto, making it the first subway in Canada. In 1955, at the 27th Academy Awards, on the waterfront, Marlon Brando and Grace Kelly win. In 1959, the Dalai Lama flees China and is granted political asylum in India. In 1961, NASA test pilot Joseph A. Walker flies the X-15 experimental airplane to 169,600 feet or 51,690 meters. That is amazing. In 1962, American rapper MC Hammer is born. In 1964, Jeopardy! is aired for the first time, but Alex Trebek isn't old enough to host yet. In 1965, a car bomb explodes in front of the U.S. Embassy in Saigon, Vietnam, killing 22 people and wounding 183 others. In 1966, Color Me Barbara, Barbara Streisand's second TV special, but the first in color, premieres on CBS. Color Me Barbara, get it? In 1967, the cover of the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album is photographed today by Michael Cooper. In 1968, Canadian singer Celine Dion is born today. In 1970, the highly influential double album Bitches Brew from Miles Davis is released. Also in 1970, the soap opera Another World in Somerset premieres on NBC and runs for six years. And in 1970 as well, the musical Applause premieres in New York City and runs for 900 performances. It was an adaptation of the 1950 film All About Eve. And another in 1970, the USSR wins its eighth straight World Hockey Championship. In 1975, James Rupert kills 11 members of his family on Easter Sunday in Hamilton, Ohio. In 1981, at the 43rd NCAA Men's Basketball Championship, Indiana beats North Carolina 63-50 future Hall of Fame point guard Isaiah Thomas is named the tournament's most outstanding player. Also in 1981, the movie Chariots of Fire, starring Ben Cross and Ian Charlson, premieres and wins Best Picture in 1982. In 1982, the play Agnes of God, which is about a nun who gives birth and insists it was an immaculate conception, premieres at the Music Box Theater in New York City and runs for 559 performances. There was also a movie starring Meg Tilly, if I remember correctly. In 1984, New York City police detective Robert Cunningham offers waitress Phyllis Penzo half of his $1 lottery ticket as a tip. The next day, they win $6 million. I believe there's a movie about that as well. In 1986, American actor James Cagney passes away. In 1987, at the 59th Academy Awards, Platoon, Paul Newman, and Marley Matlin win. Also in 1987, Vincent Van Gogh's painting Sunflowers sells for a record $39.7 million. In 1990, Jack Nicklaus makes his debut on the Senior PGA Tour at the Tradition at Desert Mountain and wins the event by four strokes. In 1991, U.S. President Ronald Reagan survives an attempted assassination that occurred today. In 1992, at the 64th Academy Awards, The Silence of the Lambs, Anthony Hopkins, and Jodie Foster sweep the awards. Also in 1992, CBS TV premieres the overnight news program, Up to the Minute. In 2000, Richard Branson is knighted by Prince Charles at Buckingham Palace in London. In 2001, at 15 years, 9 months, American swimmer Michael Phelps becomes the youngest male to set a world record. He breaks the 200-meter butterfly world record at the U.S. World Championship Trials in Austin, Texas. In 2002, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, passed away today. In 2003, New York bans smoking in all places of business, including bars and restaurants. In 2009, 12 gunmen attacked the Manawan Police Academy in Lahore, Pakistan. That is pretty gutsy. In 2012, MasterCard and Visa announce a massive breach in security with over 10 million compromised credit card numbers. Also in 2012, the American Mega Millions Lottery hits a world record lottery amount 
of $640 million. In 2013, North Korea declares it is at a state of war with South Korea, and South Korea responds, okay, thanks for letting us know. No, they didn't really say that. In 2017, North Carolina repeals its controversial bathroom law that restricted transgender use. In 2018, country singer-songwriter Casey Musgraves releases her fourth studio album, Golden Hour, and it becomes the Grammy Album of the Year in 2019. In 2019, Swedish gamer and YouTuber PewDiePie is dethroned as the biggest YouTube channel by Indian channel T-Series. In 2020, citizens of Moscow, Russia are given only four hours of notice to lockdown for COVID-19. Also in 2020, three out of four Americans are now ordered to stay home due to COVID-19 as the states of Virginia, Maryland, Arizona, and Florida issue lockdowns today. And lastly, in 2020 as well, the International Olympic Committee announces that the COVID-19 postponed 2020 Summer Olympic Games will be held July 23rd through August 8th in 2021. Hey, thanks for listening to and or watching my video today. I appreciate it. I've got a lot more right there in front of you and a lot more coming. Please make sure that you subscribe and I'll talk to you tomorrow.